Allergy Skin Test What you need to know What is an allergy skin test? An allergy is an overreaction, also known as hypersensitivity, of the body's immune system. Normally, immune system works to fight off foreign substances like viruses and bacteria. In allergy, immune system treats a harmless substance, like dust or pollen, as a threat. To fight this apparent threat, immune system reacts and causes an allergic reaction. There are four main types of allergenic reactions, known as type 1 through type 4 hypersensitivities. Most common allergies are type 1 hypersensitivity reactions. These include dust mites, pollens, foods, and animal dander. Other types of hypersensitivities cause different immune system overreactions. These range from mild skin rashes to serious autoimmune disorders. An allergy skin test usually checks for allergies caused by type 1 hypersensitivity. The test looks for reactions to specific allergens that are placed on the skin. Use of allergy skin test An allergy skin test is used to diagnose certain allergies. The test can show which substances are causing allergic reactions. These substances may include pollen, dust, molds, and medicines such as penicillin. The tests are not usually used to diagnose food allergies. This is because food allergies are more likely to cause anaphylactic shock. Why an allergy skin test is required? Healthcare provider may order allergy testing if the person has symptoms of an allergy. These include stuffy or runny nose, sneezing, itchy, watery eyes, hives, a rash with raised red patches, diarrhea, vomiting, shortness of breath, coughing, wheezing, whistling sound made while breathing. An allergy scratch test. Skin prick test. Healthcare provider will place small drops of specific allergens at different spots on skin. He or she will then lightly scratch or prick skin through each drop. If a person is allergic to any allergens, he or she will develop a small red bump at the site or sites within about 15 to 20 minutes. An intradermal test. Healthcare provider will use a tiny, thin needle to inject a small amount of allergen just below the skin surface. Healthcare provider will watch the site for a reaction. This test is sometimes used if allergy scratch test was negative, but healthcare provider still thinks a person has an allergy. An allergy patch test. A provider will place small patches on skin. The patches look like adhesive bandages. They contain small amounts of specific allergens. A person will wear the patches for 48 to 96 hours and then return to healthcare provider's office. Healthcare provider will remove the patches and check for rashes or other reactions. Preparation for the test. A person may need to stop taking certain medicines such as antihistamines and antidepressants before the test. Healthcare provider will inform which medicines to avoid before test and how long to avoid them. If a child is being tested, the provider may apply a numbing cream to his or her skin before the test. Risk of the test. There is very little risk to having allergy skin tests. The test itself is not painful. The most common side effect is red itchy skin at the test sites. In very rare cases, an allergy skin test may cause anaphylactic shock. This is why skin tests need to be done in a provider's office where emergency equipment is available. Result analysis. Red bumps or swelling at any of the testing sites means that a person is allergic to those substances. Usually, the larger the reaction, the more likely the person is allergic. Upon diagnosis of allergy, healthcare provider will recommend a treatment plan. The plan may include avoiding the allergen when possible, medicines, lifestyle changes such as reducing dust in home. Some useful information. A person with risk for anaphylactic shock is required to carry an emergency epinephrine treatment with him or her at all times. Epinephrine is a drug used to treat severe allergies. It comes in a device that contains a pre-measured amount of epinephrine. A person is instructed to inject the device into skin and call doctor if he or she experienced symptoms of anaphylactic shock. If a person has a skin condition or other disorder that prevents him slash her from getting an allergy skin test, healthcare provider may recommend an allergy blood test instead. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.